Aha. It's recording. Okay. I've been trying to record this for a half an hour, and there's always something that happens. <laughs> Tired of that. First of all, Mom's still in the hospital, and they're sorting things out, I guess. It's a holiday weekend, Memorial Day weekend, and so they're half-staffed. And, you know, when you don't have to go in, if you're a doctor or whatever, you don't. <laughs> so, we're still, it's a waiting game right now. Rick went, went over there all day, pretty much, and he said when she, he got there, she was on a morphine drip. And that's usually not a good sign. That means people are on their way out and they're keeping them comfortable. But with my mom, could be her addictive gene. She uh, has a very active addictive gene. Her drug of choice is alcohol, but second to that is pain pills and anxiety medicine. So in the hospital, you can't get alcohol, so, hmm. Anyway, uh, she doesn't like me to sit over there by m myself with her because she can't manipulate me like she can my brother. <clears throat> She'll beckon him over and act all freaked out, you know, until he does what she wants, because he freaks out. And it's like, mm, not cool. So we're still a waiting game, don't know what's going to happen. Tuesday, I'm supposed to clean someone's house, but who knows what <laughs> what's going to happen. And it's, it'll be my only income. I have no income right now. And right at this very second, I have my bills paid up. But bills keep coming in when income doesn't. So I've got to figure out something there. Dirty laundry, done. Clean, now let's talk clean and fun. Clean and fun, yeah. Uh, my brother David called me this morning when I was doing some dishes, and I ran to the phone, and I answered, and he said, has mom got you a plane ticket yet? And I said, no. He said, okay, uh, who do you go through? Who will you look through? And I said, well, Travelocity had the lowest one so far. So he looked through that, and we were, you know, he was looking online, and we were talking about it, and he took down all the information as to leaving and coming and going and blah, 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 blah. blah. And he says, okay, well, let's see, let's see if we can book the book this now. He says, oh, not let me book. What's wrong? What's wrong? He says, I'll call you back. Apparently, he had to call a service rep or a customer service person. And basically, he has me going the day before I was going to go. That way, I'll make sure I'll be there for the wedding. And I'll get in there really late at night. But I guess that's okay. <laughs> you know. And then the day after, when I was going to leave, it was booked up because that weekend is a comic book convention in Saskatoon called Sask Blitz. And apparently a lot of people are coming and going that weekend. So the day after I was going to leave is when I'll be leaving. And because of the snafu and all that stuff, the travel agent guy gave me one free night at a studio apartment room thing. It's got a little kitchenette in it. My brother said, you don't have to use it if you don't want to. But it's there if you want to use it. I'm like, hey, I might get lucky. <laughs> <laughs> One can only hope, right? <laughs> well, you never know. <laughs> Keep your fingers crossed for me. Actually, I'm so tickled about leaving. Except for the cat. If I didn't have the kitty cat to worry about, I may not come back. But poor little thrall. What would he do? Anyway, what am I else? What else was I going to say? Oh, yes. Now that I have the ticket. Quack, quack, quack. Nerd alert, nerd alert. Now that I have the ticket, I've been doing some research on floor plans of the various airports I'll be going through. I'll be leaving through Chicago. So I have the floor plan of Chicago Airport and all the restaurants that are there. And I looked at all the menus of the restaurants, and I found one that's the healthiest choice, of, and I know what I want to order if I'm hungry, what I'll order, where I'll go, I know all that stuff. I'm planning ahead. Yes, and by then I'll probably have it all laminated on a little card, too. Hmm. But Denver, coming back in through Denver, is a huge airport. I don't know if I've ever been there. I haven't gotten into researching it yet. I'm sure it's a lot to see and learn. And Yes, I will be looking at YouTube a lot. I'll be watching videos on Saskatoon and things to see and, and uh, 
Yes, by the time I go, I'll have already been there in my mind. But I'm excited. I am really excited. Now I just need... Uh, I need improvements in the rest of my life. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. I mean, there's so much I would like to do for people and do. But I can't. Because I don't have an income and my car doesn't work. So there's things that are going on this weekend I can't get to because I don't have a car and there's no transportation out there. So, yeah, being poor is no fun. But, I, you know, at least I'm excited about this. So maybe, maybe things are, the pendulum swinging the other way, maybe, huh? Mm. Upward and onward.